welcome back guys all right let's jump into a general let's jump into a general let's see what's coming up what's going on let's come back to us. general guys means all signs it's not a specific sign okay it's for the collective so let's see what's going on in love. Somebody's trying to call you in. We are calling in your soulmate. They want to have a heart to heart conversation with you. All right. So somebody's calling you in. We got playfulness, separation. Yeah, look, somebody that you've been separated from, they wanna, they wanna heal. Okay, so what else? I've been getting this energy a lot for the collective. So yeah, somebody wanna get married, or somebody wanna have a heart to heart conversation about a marriage. Okay, so some of y'all, being that separation in marriage is here, y'all could be separated from this person. It was a lot of childish ass behavior going on. But they want to have a heart to heart conversation. Okay. They want to have a heart to heart combo. Okay. Let's see. We're going to use this twin flame journey. Or the part here. Let's see what's going on. All right. Show me this person's energy. Yeah. This person could be a soulmate, but I feel like they've been dealing with a third party, so they've been kind of like mute. Y'all haven't talked to each other. For sure, for sure, y'all haven't talked to each other because we got mute and third party. So they're dealing with third party. This is why they haven't reached out to you, haven't talked, you haven't heard from this person. It's a third party in the mix. All right, and they're trying to find some balance. They're trying to balance the scale. Also, this person is definitely getting their karma. Okay, they're going through some type of karma. I see this person admiring you from a distance, though. Like, they are admiring your level up. Okay, because we got admire and vibrations. They have been dealing with drugs and alcoholism. Um, while at the same time, they're trying to reinvent themselves. Okay. They're trying to reinvent themselves. But it looks like it's, they're going through a challenge. <clears throat> they're hitting challenges after challenges after challenges. And they're using drugs or alcohol to cope in some way, shape, or form. While your energy over here, you've been leveling up, okay? They're watching you from a distance. That's their karma. All family and return yeah this family this this mother could want to return okay this mother could want to return he want his family back <laughs> so what else after he done got some little karma he had to go out there and see what it was like huh We got muse and inner child. Tell me more about this. What else? Summer. So this person could be could have been trying to paint this picture um, that they have moved on. This person got some inner child issues. Tell me more about inner child. 
solitude. They've been like this since they've been a child. All right. They've been like this. They will isolate themselves from, like, when they're going through things. When they're going through things, because it looks like this person is getting some karma. When they go through things, they isolate themselves. They've been doing it since they've been little. This is what they, this is all they know. They don't know no other way. But they said, look, by this summer, they plan on returning back to you. Like, that's a goal for them to find their way back to you. Okay. Now, about that, I am dealing with this karmic. They getting ready to abandon this karmic. They getting ready to abandon this karmic and refocus. Okay. They're trying to refocus back on the family that they created with you. And they say, look, by this summer, they got it planned out in their head. And by this summer, they want their family back. Yep. Now they want to compromise. Okay. They want to compromise now. They've been thinking and thinking and thinking. And you see these two people sitting here having this conversation, talking about how they could work things out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They want to take a new direction, okay? They're trying to take a new direction. They want to talk about what happened with this third party. They want to talk about it, okay? Because now they realize they done awake it now. Now they are fully awake or they are awakening. I'm not going to say fully awake, but they are awakening. They, they learned their lesson in this situation, They could have had some type of STD scare because we got received, conclusion, tribe, and fear. They could have received some type of pregnancy scare, uh, something. They had some type of a scare, okay? And that would make me feel like it could be something involving sexually, sex, something sexually is because we got tribe. And this made me feel like a lot of people, somebody's been sleeping around with a lot of people. Then we got received right here. And fear. But conclusion kind of give me kind of like, you know, conclusion is just that. Closing out that chapter, ending it. So, yep. See, look. We got divine timing and fresh start and return. Either this person done received some type of download. That could be it as well, too. Because everybody, everybody, you know, not dumb to not strap up. Somebody could have received some type of download. But I'm getting tribe and fear. They could also be afraid of how people are viewing them, how people, how they're looked at. If they were to return to you. And have this fresh start. But spirits say, look, in divine time, one thing about it, and two things for sure. If it's meant to be, it's going to be. Okay? It'll find its way back. I feel like this person has been contemplating a lot. Contemplating a lot about their finances. Okay? That's been heavy on their mind. And like I said, for some of y'all, y'all could be married. Okay? But y'all had to put this, y'all had to put this on pause. Okay? Y'all had to see what it was like. Okay, y'all went through some cycles. Y'all went through some changes. And now this person, they, they asking for forgiveness. They ready to surrender. They damn near on their knees. They damn near, don't be surprised this person come back on their knees. Okay, begging for forgiveness. They trying to find their way back to you. They trying to find their way back to you. Somebody could have received some type of information as well, too. This person could have received some information about you as well, too. Okay. Um, what else? Let's, let's do the tarot.
with this masculine. What's going on with this masculine? Tell me more about this masculine. Ooh. All right, so this masculine giving me page energy. Okay, so this masculine don't got much to offer. I'm just putting it out there. He coming with a page, okay? He coming with a page. He ain't got much. He ain't got much, okay? I feel like some of y'all, some of y'all walked away from them. Because we got the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Cups. The King of Wands. This masculine could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Or they're just like very good looking, very ambitious, very go-getters. Could be a little popular or whatever. But they just got they, they got their karma. Ever since you left, they've been getting karma. Okay? They've been getting hit after hit after hit after hit after hit. Okay? And adjust this card right here. They've been getting hit left and right. And see, I'm seeing too, like, this person is kind of, like, cold. Like, they're mean, and they play too much. And they, they love attention. Like, they do stuff all the time for attention. But they, I'm not going to lie, they wanted something new. They wanted some somebody new. They wanted something new. So they went towards a different connection. So, they ain't getting nothing out of the... They didn't grow. Because they a page. They still a page. They probably gonna come back around with less. Picking up Sagittarius energy real hard, but they do want to talk about it. They want to talk talk about the situation first. Okay, they want to clear the air. I'm definitely hearing clear the air. They want to clear the air with you. They willing to take the risk. They willing to jump out there first and reach out to you first. They want to clear the air so either y'all can decide on whether or not y'all want this connection or if y'all don't. Okay. So that's where they that's where they are. They want forgiveness. They want to try to clear the air. Try to clear their conscience. We got the lovers and the six of swords. the lovers here. Could be a Gemini. And the three of swords. Oh, there's a lot of gossiping going on. Like this masculine in a whole lot of and is in a whole big messy situation. They've been trying to build their confidence up. So they can, you know, reach out to you and tell you how they feel. <clears throat> but they feel like maybe you're gonna talk about them online. I'm seeing a lot of gossiping going on. They feel like you're going to talk about them online and it's going to piss them off. So, you know, that could have been what's, what's holding them back as well, too. Yeah, I'm hearing everybody, we gonna either fix this or move on. 
Because everybody already talking about me anyway. I'm hearing it. Like, this masculine is being talked about like a dog. Like, real bad. Real, real bad. Okay, this masculine is being talked about, gossiped about. Yeah, I'm hearing, like... Either we're going to we're going to keep trying, or we're going to move on to something else. All right. So the future energy is judgment. So a judgment call is getting ready to happen. This person wants to make a judgment call. They want to make a final decision. They want to pull the strings and make some type of final decision. Um, I do see that this person does want to have like a, a heart to heart conversation. Yeah. Judgment and the Eight of Cups. So it's like making a final decision. This could be a uh, Capricorn with the Devil card here. This could be. Um, a queen of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or this person. You could be a fire sign. But this person does want to have that conversation. The sun and the eight of wands. Now, they could be communicating with a fire sign. I'm definitely picking up Leo. Um, I'm getting a marriage. I'm getting a marriage. Okay. Legally married. But I'm getting this masculine getting ready to walk away. I'm getting this masculine getting ready to walk out. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. This person is about to leave their past behind. Okay, it could be a Leo that they're getting ready to walk away from. Now we got the King of Cups. This person is definitely all in their emotions. Okay, they're feeling emotional. I'm getting them feeling stressed out, like worried, anxious, okay? All right, somebody definitely wants to work on a marriage or work on a or work on a, a solid, for real, for real relationship. I feel like they're mad at themselves. Um, they're fighting their, their, their own battles, fighting themselves um, because... They have to force some changes. I'm getting like forced change with the seven of wands and the wheel. Forced changes. Okay. I feel like this person just realizing that they got caught up in something that they know they knew better than. They didn't want it to go all out all out of hand like this. They got caught up in dealing with this third party. They got caught up and they knew better. I'm getting if y'all are married, this masculine is, this masculine is saying that this karmic knew he had a wife. So it seemed like he's trying to push the blame and stuff on her. You knew you had a wife too. Lots of king of swords here. Yeah. See, they're ready to let something go. They got to close this chapter. Because they sitting here regretting a relationship. They feel like the relationship is slowing their success down. Um, it's slowing their money down and slowing their success down. Yep. Yep, they realize that they have to let that connection go. They getting tired of waiting to hear from you. Um, they want to see you in person. They want to see you in person. They want to talk face to face. They want to have a face to face conversation. Uh, what 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 are we doing? 
Oh, I wanted to clarify this three of wands because it looks like they're waiting on something. Like they're contemplating, thinking about future actions. They've been waiting on you to miss them. They've been waiting on you to try to get in contact with them. Yep, so y'all can talk about the relationship. King of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. The star here could be Aquarius. They've been praying. And I feel like this person has been trying to do some healing, but they they can't fully get to that. They can't, they, it's just not working. It's not working because they have so much on their conscience. They wanted you to try to keep in contact with them, but instead, I feel like y'all walked out. Y'all left. All right, so that's what I got, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. Oh, before we leave, let's see what they want to say. I wonder if you're happy without me. So this is what's been on their mind, okay? They wondering what you've been doing without them. How how you been keeping it kosher? You ain't even reached out. You ain't even like paying them no attention. Are you happy? Well, this person they want to know if you happy without them. All right. So that's the message that I got, y'all. Y'all let me know what's going on in the comment section below. I'm gonna chat with y'all later.